Goodbye, Theodore. So have you come up with an interesting question? I spent all night thinking, but I still have nothing. I've got a question, but I forgot it. Hi, Theodore. Do you also want to listen to Mappa? No, no, my friends. I just wanted to say goodbye. To say goodbye? Ah, it's September already. Today at sunset, our flock is flying off to the warmer lands. Over there, at the Blue Hills, is where we meet. Whoa, it's so far. You call this far? The warmer lands, that's really far away. Several days of a strenuous flight through heat and cold. Through winds and storms. All right, children. What questions have you prepared for me? Today, as promised, I will answer the most interesting one. Who's up? So what? No questions. I've got one! Mappa Pandiga, why do storks fly to the warmer lands for the winter? Good one, Leo! <laughs> wonderful. That is an interesting question indeed. A long time ago, back at the dawn of time, the weather was always hot on Earth. But then, the climate began to change, and animals started to dress in furs and feathers. Those who chose feathers learned how to fly and became birds. Later, it turned out that the feathers are not good for keeping you warm in winter. But the birds didn't want to give up their plumage. They wouldn't trade this new and magical feeling of flying for any fur coat, no matter how warm or beautiful. That's why, ever since that time, every year, many birds have to fly far, far away to the warmer lands where they can stay till the harsh winter is over. I'm so glad I've got my fur coat. There's no way I'd be flying to the warmer lands. Oh, so pretty. Where did it come from? That is Theodore's feather. But without it, how can he fly to the warmer lands? We need to return it. Give his feather back. Can we make it? We don't have any other choice. In that case, let's go, guys. Think of something. No, Leo. Just no. Why not? Jump now, Tig. Don't be scared. I'm gonna jump first. Okay. As a gentleman, I'll let you go first. Huh? <laughs> oh, wow! Why did I never jump like that before? <laughs> Woo! But this is so high. I can't do this. I'll just wait here. All right, Tig. Stay there if you want. But could you catch the vine first? Good job, Tig! Jump now! Get me out of here, Leo! Hold on! Hold on tight! Tig! Tig! I'm coming! Just got caught on a thorn. 
so he couldn't jump off. That's right. Caught on a thorn. Theodore, you're friends with a tiger, a leopard, and a lynx. I don't believe you. Where could he go? Leo! Yara! I have really bad luck today. First, I got caught in a thorn, and now I fell into this deep pit. I'm so sick of vines. Quick! Here! <laughs> you don't have to believe it, but I do have wonderful friends. We made it! Yay! <laughs> we found your feather. You lost it, right? Yeah, this is my feather. But why? I think you can't fly without it. Oh, no, Tig. One feather wouldn't affect the way I fly in the slightest. So we came for nothing? No, not at all. I'm so happy, my friends, that you came to say goodbye before I leave. And this feather is for you to remember me. Goodbye! And good luck, Theodore! <laughs> <laughs> when the wind above the sea waves 
when the wind above the sea waves, when the wind above the sea waves starts to storm and rage. We will scare it up with shouts. We will scare it up with shouts. We will scare it up with shouts and continue on our flight. Taongo of the Bush Babies. Everybody ready? Then let's go! Yara, aren't you coming with us? Tig, did you forget? I'm the sailor on duty. Today, I'm guarding the ship. And while I'm at it, I'll do some cleaning. We're just going to gather some food and water, and then we'll be right back. Yara, should I stay back here with you? Don't worry about it, Lily. I'll manage this broom somehow. I really miss being back home. So beautiful, so big and magical. There's forests and oceans, the deserts and sands. I dream of cedar trees, the rivers sparkling. Beloved land, my own. How I want to go home, go home. We've seen so many countries across the world. Lily is our captain through all the storms. No wind or no heat could be an obstacle. To make their way home. The world's so beautiful, so big and magical. There's forests and oceans, the deserts and sands. I dream of cedar trees, the rivers sparkling, beloved land my own. How I want to go home, go home. If we don't somehow manage to sniff out where Spots and Stripes are gonna head off to next, then Tasman is gonna skin us alive! But why do we need to know that, Spike? So we can overtake them and then get our hands on the treasure before they do! Hmm? Ha! <laughs> hmm. Nah! Spots and Stripes are nowhere around here. Let's go and check somewhere else. Oh! Look at that, Spike! What is she holding? It's good that we have you, magical guiding arrow. You'll point us in the right direction for sure. Mwah. But I don't get it. Where does it show the way to? And where are they flying to? It must be to the treasure. But are you quite certain? Yeah, a hundred percent! No! A thousand percent! Well then, if we get our paws on that magical arrow, we'll no longer have to keep secretly following them. So I guess that means that we should go steal it from Slow the... down! By now, Spots and Stripes must have already returned. We can give them a pow pow! Huh? I feel an idea is starting to form. There's a new moon tonight, which means that it'll be so dark that they won't see a thing. It'll be easy. We'll steal the arrow from under their noses, right? <laughs> <laughs> now tell me, where do they keep it? No, don't tell me. Tell Philin. He sees better than anybody in the dark. I'm sending him on the job. There. Now we're all set to take off. But there's no moon out. There's no way that we could fly in this kind of darkness. Ugh, what a shame. But oh well. We can get some sleep and take off at dawn. You guys sleep. I can keep watch. I'm on duty after all. Should I join you, Yara? It's really dark out right now. What is this? You think because I'm small that I'm afraid of the dark? <sighs> but what if you fall asleep? But I won't. I said I can handle it. And handle it I will. <sighs> hoot, hoot. Hoot, 
go and lose the magical arrow we have to find it no matter how long it takes <laughs> with this darkness in the forest that's impossible that's exactly why we have the owl fill in <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself, Taongo of the Great Bush Babies. And this is my little pet, Luciolo Africano, a very rare breed of firefly. You won't find another one in the forest, the son of African and Luciola, the greatest couple of lightning bug champions and the grandson of the synchronized blinking masters, the beautiful stop, Machia. Stop, stop, stop. That's all extremely interesting. However, I'm currently searching oh, for something. In that case, milady, perhaps I could be of service. I don't need help. Um, uh, but I can't see anything. There she is, moving that Hurry, tree. grab her! <laughs> grab her, quick, there she is! Oh, <laughs> villain, fly yeah, faster! Get her. Come on, get, get her. her! Get her! We can't let her get away! If you will allow me to, I'd be happy to help. I'll deal with the Martins myself somehow. <laughs> After her! There she is! Like yeah, after me! Oh, oh, oh. oh, let go of me! Oh, you stupid tree! As my most noble grandmother always used to say, there is no shame in accepting help from someone who truly wishes to offer their help. All set. Thanks very much. I am Yara. Where did they disappear to? On the left. There's a hole. Lift your legs. There are roots. Stop! There are thorns! But how do you see in the dark, Taongo? Ah, how do you do it? Our ancient family is very famous for its night vision. There she is! Ah! After them! Fly faster! We're right on their tails! We'll get them now! They're gaining on us! What's he doing? Oh, it looks like he's calling his relatives for help. We hey, should run. Hey, watch out! <laughs> Hooray! We found the ship. Oh, it looks like everyone's asleep. It was a pleasure to meet such an independent and courageous young lady who happens to be equally as beautiful. If it wasn't for your help, this courageous young lady would have fallen into greater trouble. Thank you. Uh, Yara, is that you? Uh, I had a weird dream that the magical guiding arrow had been stolen. Well, it was nothing but a bad dream. Hey, it's 
it's light already. Let's get going. Tasman, please, buddy, take us along with you. Look what we've collected just for you. Uh -huh. Take a look at what we collected. Uh -huh. I've got no use at all for you two. You couldn't catch a lynx and some googly-eyed critter. You two are staying right here. Fill in! Let's get flying! Ah, oh, it's so good to be alone again. <laughs> Don't worry, Melky. You know why Tasman was so angry? It's because he didn't have any sweet fruit to snack on. But once he fills up his belly, he'll get kinder. And then we can prove to him that we're really useful. Uh, that is, if we don't fall first. <laughs> A game for a rhinoceros. <laughs> Look at him sleeping. You can't wake him up. It's your own fault. What did you expect, Tasman? You kept the poor owl flying all night long. It appears to me that somebody here is dissatisfied with something. <laughs> no, no, no one here is dissatisfied with anything. I was merely uh, uh, sharing my opinion. Well, you should keep your opinions to yourself or otherwise. <laughs> but come on, Tazzy, old pal. We're good friends now, aren't we? Ah. Why is this small fry bothering me like this? Get away! Shoo! Uh, Tasman? Uh, uh, I think maybe the birdie just wants to make friends with you. Make uh. friends with me? I don't need anybody uh. trying to make friends with me, okay? Friendship equals weakness! Marty! Can you check the ropes? Aye, aye, Captain. Yee. Hey, Koopa Buddy, you gotta wake up now. It's time to fly away. <laughs> Whoa! You hear that? Listen to how much fun they're having. Maybe they're having some sort of party or something like that. They're having so much fun. We should go and join in. Tig, but it's time for us to fly off now. Yeah, but all we do is fly these days, Leo. I've already forgotten how we used to play and have fun. Yeah, I have to admit, I would also like to play something. Okay then, let's go and have some fun. <laughs> hey there, you guys. Can we join in on your game? Sure, no problem. The more the barrier. Aha, <laughs> 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 uh -huh. would you look at that? It seems spots and stripes are here. Hey, you're playing a fun game. Well, well, well. Uh, 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 come on, come on, let's go and play with them, huh? Oh, please. You want to play? Sure, we can play. Hide and seek. We can focus on the hiding part. <laughs> psst, psst. Listen to my plan. We're going to kidnap the monkey and steal the ship for ourselves. That's a great plan, <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we want the monkey? <sighs> the monkey is the one who can show us where to find the treasure. Got it? Oh, I get it now. I get it. Then let's get going. <laughs> Excuse me. Can I join in the game? Well, okay. Uh, so what's your name, huh? Um, uh, Tonda. Well, okay, Tonda. Come play. The more the merrier. No, no, no. But not with us. You can't play with us. Hey, where are you going? What about the game? Hmm, strange. 
Anyway, wanna play catch? <laughs> Come on! No, no, no! Hide and seek will be better. I really miss the days when we used to play hide and seek. Oh, yeah? Well, I call dibs. Go hide, I get to seek first. One, two, three. Tanya? But what are you doing? I'm hiding. <laughs> You're what? But you're way wider than the tree. If you hide there, Leo would find you straight away. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, Tonda, what are you doing? He's gonna spot you from a thousand feet away. Uh, uh, huh? Nine, ten. <gasps> Ready or not, here I come. It seems you're a little big for the hiding part of hide and seek, huh, Tonda? Uh, 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 I'm really sorry. Well, why don't we just play a different game then? Good idea, Yara. As Mappa always says, wherever there are friends, a game can always be found. in one piece. Uh, I've done it again. I always ruin everything. Tonda, <laughs> don't cry. First the giraffes ran away. <laughs> and now you guys want to leave. This always happens to me. I'm just too big for anything. Well, it's not so much that you're too big. It's just uh, you're too large. If only, oh, if only rhinos were still small like they used to be. <laughs> if only things were like before. Like before uh, how? What's wrong? Don't you know about the legend? We heard about the legend when our daddy told us about it. A long, long time ago, the savannah was home to the very first little rhinoceros. And he was teeny tiny, almost as small as a bunny rabbit. He went to the spirit of the savannah, and he asked for a special favor. He wanted to grow. He asked to be bigger and even bigger still. And the rhino got so big that he outgrew all of his enemies. He was proud to be so big, but he also outgrew all of his friends. He was worried that he might crush somebody's paw or maybe stand on their tail by accident. And so the rhino became sad. Nobody wanted to play games with him anymore. Then one day, the rhino met a little bird who was so lonely. His name was Oxpecker. The bird wasn't afraid, so he didn't try to fly away. Quite the opposite. The little bird was able to see that the huge rhino was a delicate soul who was sensitive and had a kind heart and wasn't frightening at all. And so the little bird and the rhino became friends and played together. Ever since then, the little oxpecker birds have been inseparable from the enormous rhinos. That's awesome! <laughs> Tonda, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Not even the little oh, birds hey, will hey, be hi. friends with me. <laughs> Tonda, but don't leave. <laughs> Quiet! Let go of me! Go away! That small boy is following us! 
happens to be our captive. Uh, just hand over the monkey, would you? Just try and take her, little friend. Uh, but she's really big, Tasman. You can do what you want, but I'm out of here. <laughs> that makes two of us. Yeah, she's a little too big. Uh, oh. Lily, uh, uh, are you okay? Yeah. Uh, Tonda and the little bird saved me. Uh, uh. You drove away all of those annoying little flies. Thank you so much. What's that? You said you want to play a game with me? Really? <laughs> it looks like our friend Tonda <laughs> has someone to play games with. <laughs> Nice that the cute little bird has finally found her very own rhino. <laughs> and Tonda has finally found herself a good friend. <laughs> We've already flown past these acacias. Don't you think that we might be lost? Oh, this is really bad. Our water supply is running low. <gasps> hey guys, look! We haven't seen those black cacti yet. That means we haven't flown through here. Oh, wow. Live moving cacti. They don't look like cacti. They look more like hedgehogs. Well, then, we have to land and ask them the way. Each according to their ability. <laughs> so, how does it look on me? Ah, it fits you like a glove. Go on, then. Give us a little twirl. <gasps> oh, my. Prickle my needles. <gasps> it's a giant wooden bird! Oh my! Ah! Someone protect me! Uh. Uh, hello, my name is Leo. And this is Tig, Martik, Lily, Mila, Yara, and Kuba. <laughs> We've flown to you from the forest, from the north. What are you? Are you African hedgehogs? What? We're not any kind of hedgehog at all. We are porcupines. Shade, Jemima, and Needle. And thanks to the wind whipped up by your big wooden bird, we ended up having to interrupt our, our, our way back home. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. We didn't mean to disturb you. We're searching for Lily's home. Until then, the ship is our home. Then maybe you could invite us on board, you know, to make it up to us. I'm so interested to see what you have inside. <laughs> of course, great idea. Come on in. This is the rudder. We steer it where we want to go. Wow. This is the anchor. We throw it down when we land somewhere. Ah. Not uh huh. It's a hoy. Here's the oar. Paddle if you want to go faster. Wowee, everything on the ship is so big. And this is where we put our supplies. Ah. We only have a couple apples left. How interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so, as a thank you for your hospitality, we're going to put on a little performance for you all. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's awesome. <laughs> May I borrow some of these apples for the, um, the performance. The apples? But of course. I love watching performances. Hello! Oh boy! <laughs> this is so amazing! <laughs> yeah, again, again! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> wow, that is so cool! Hello! <laughs> yeah! Everyone, and that concludes our show. <laughs> hey, what about the route? We didn't ask the way. <gasps> hey, Jemima, you were magnificent as always. You were like a boa constrictor with a rabbit when you enchanted those furry fools. <laughs> Jemima! Hey, Jemima! Shade! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm sorry about that. You haven't happened to see some porcupines, have you? 
They're kind of dark colored and spiky. <laughs> yeah, they were just here. They're such great entertainers. They did such a good job juggling all those apples. What do you mean they're great entertainers? They're just a bunch of thieves. They ran off with my crown. Your crown? But we thought it was their crown. No, it belongs to my dad. My daddy is a lion. He's the king of the beasts. That's his crown. You see, I took it so I could play with it without asking. Yeah, I'm the king of the beasts. Oh, what a cool crown you're wearing. You think I can spin it? Absolutely not. This crown is royal property. Oh, well, spin it yourself then. Me? But I don't know how to. <laughs> it's really easy. Heads up. Whoa! <laughs> 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 Teach you how to do it. <laughs> Hooray! Now I'm getting the hang of it. Yeah, indeed you are. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, loser. <laughs> Those porcupines are con artists. What am I going to tell my dad now? Hmm, these apples are going to be so tasty. How is it? Hmm, it's appley. Ah, huh, yeah, appley. By the way. I also managed to grab something else that looked quite interesting. They stole... They stole the only apples we had! The anchor! They took the anchor, too! To the ship at once! Or else it'll fly away without an anchor! And me? But what about me? Oh, I'm sorry, your future highness. Come on, jump! I'm not going back home until I... Get that crown! So, are you gonna tell us why we're lugging this heavy thing? This thing is much too heavy to take along, and it's way too gigantic, and even worse, completely inedible. Well, prick my needles, you two. Why don't you tell me why we took the lion's crown, huh? Jemima, why are you wearing that crown, huh? For the same reason that you took the anchor. Just because, so I could have it. But you guys, next time we steal something, Let's make sure that it's useful, huh? Or at least something that's more edible. Look up there! Hurry, let's hide this thing and run away! They're never gonna catch us! <laughs> <laughs> Down there! It's my crown! <laughs> Look how shiny it is! But never mind, we'll be sure to catch them! To the right! No, wait! To the left! Yeah. Wait, no! Straight ahead! It's up, Cat! Take your apples uh, back if you want them so bad! Ow! Uh, oh, yeah? Well, I'll show you! Hold on! I've got an idea! <laughs> they're leaving! No, wait, they're up to something! Run away, quick! them back to my dad. They should be punished. Oh, you thieves. Oh, please, don't hurt us. We'll give it all back. We won't steal anymore, I promise. Well, thieves can never be trusted. Arrest them immediately. <gasps> but please, no, please, no, 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 please, don't. Please, don't do it, please, no. But even if they're punished, the spines through their hearts won't disappear. What? Do you actually believe them? Well, I believe that there's still some good in them. They're just a little confused. Hmm. <laughs> Nobody's ever treated us so kindly before. Nobody loves us. Yeah, just because we have big spines. No, not because of your spines, but because you guys steal things. Uh, but what can we do? We don't know how to do anything else. That can't be true. Listen to this story about a nightingale. Once, a nightingale heard that every bird has its own talent. He thought, what kind of talent do I have? He didn't know how to drink while flying like a swift hawk. 
He couldn't hammer out a hole like a woodpecker. He couldn't see in the dark like an owl. <sighs> the nightingale became sad, sat on a branch, and began to sing his song. He sang so well that all the birds of the forest flocked to him and listened to the nightingale until dawn, holding their breath. Then the nightingale realized that he had been looking in the wrong place for his calling and his talent had always been there without him noticing. Just like you. Do you really not see who you are? You guys are all the real artists. <gasps> you know, she's right. I really love when we do our performances. Skip it today. I'm so sleepy. Uh, yeah. You sleepy heads. Yo, line up. Suck in that gut. And now, <laughs> some water aerobics? What? It's time for target practice. What? Target practice? Okay, there's an old stump in a clearing. Well, who will be the target? One, three, two. This will surely be you! <laughs> Why do I always have to do it? Quiet, you! Now get to the hollow! Where? To the hollow! Ready? And aim! Fire! Whoa! Missed! All right, enough! Hey, what's with you? Can't you be a good sport? We're playing a game here! Well, it's a horrible game. Huh. <laughs> it's not horrible. It's like the best game ever. <clears throat> Do you want me to show you a real game? Playing Battleship. Hey, all hands on deck. Drop anchor. Aye, aye, Captain, set sail. Captain, I spy some reefs dead ahead. When you need something done. Whoa! Well, how about that? You see? Now that's what I call a real game. Ha! <laughs> Big deal. <laughs> On the other hand, if this was a pirate ship... A pirate ship? <laughs> oh, yeah. Awesome. But where would we get a pirate ship? Why don't we just build one? 
What? <laughs> Pirates don't build their ships. <laughs> they steal them. <laughs> All we've got to do is wait for the right moment. Guys, we're going to be late for Mappa's lesson. We better hurry up. <gasps> right. Let's get going. Spike, check it out. What? They're gone? <laughs> Are the borders ready? Borders away! Charge! Charge! <laughs> yeah! Hi, Mappa Pandiga! Oh, we're sorry we're late. The one who is late steals time from the one who waits. And time is something you can't get back. But today I wanted to talk about something else. I wanted to talk to you all about... friendship. Hmm, can anyone break these twigs? <laughs> that is so easy. I mean, look how thin they all are. <laughs> <laughs> Tig, you can't break a single one. What sort of crazy weird magic is this? Weird magic? Ha 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 ha! Why don't you give it another try? Well then, have you figured it out what the magic is? Of course, go on, Mila. When we are together, we are strong. That a girl, Mila. Pirates! Cannon on board! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Down with the enemy flag! <laughs> a pirate ship has to have a pirate flag! A pirate flag! Yeah! Spike, look how crooked and bent their swords are. <laughs> They're sabers, and it's Captain Spike. Y'all got that? It's Captain Spike. Uh, Captain Spike, uh, what are we going to do when Spatty and Strength come back? Yar, we'll cut them to pieces. Do you see how many cannons we have? Do you see how many sabers we have? Yes. <laughs> They're all bent. <laughs> I also have an idea. A brilliant pirate idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, there will be really thick jungle there? Yes, Mila. Nothing but thick, impassable jungle. And wild animals. And man-eating fish. <laughs> and aggressive spiders! <laughs> Perhaps we should avoid this desert island. Really? How come? The only way to become a true sailor is on a desert island. But perhaps it's far away. What are we going to do while we're sailing to the island? Ideas? We will gather supplies. You, Mila, collect some nuts. Tig will collect mushrooms. I'll take berries. Okay, let's make it happen. Hey, Striped! Getting ready for a distant cruise? That's none of your business. Well, I I'm just worried about you, because your crew is quite wonky. You are the wonky one. Ah, you should have heard what Leo called you. <laughs> he said, Tig's no good as a helmsman. Give him the ship, and he'll sink it just like that. And Mila said, Yes, I can steer myself. Let Teak run around like a good cabin boy for a bit. But from our point of view, it's pretty obvious who the real captain of the ship is. Really? And who is that? Ah, oh dear. Of course it's you, Striped. Only you have stripes on your fur, like a real sailor. Yep, he said just like this. How could he be a captain if he doesn't Whoa. even have stripes on his fur? And Milo went, we must make Leo a cabin boy so he won't get a big fat head. <laughs> Can you imagine? They also said that there's no place for girls on board. Can you believe it? What? 
What? Yeah, they said that. Can you imagine? Wh what? Yar, pirates! Come on, put her in the brig! Leo! <laughs> 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 Tig! Help me! <laughs> Nobody's gonna help you! Yo ho ho! No, no one will save, save you now! now. Oh no, so sad! <laughs> <laughs> so, you have stripes on your fur. Believe it or not, yes, I do. So what? You'll never become a captain. A captain? <laughs> of you two? No, thank you. I will never step aboard your ship again. You can go play by yourselves, you and Mila. No way. You can have Mila. I don't want to see you again or else. Or else what? <laughs> hmm. What's that? <gasps> it's Mila! Leo, Tig, help me! <laughs> hey, you! Let Mila go right now! No way! Your crew member is now ours! And the ship as well! <laughs> Yo, ho, ho! <laughs> Here we come! <laughs> again. I'm not playing this game anymore. <laughs> look, look. Cuba found Spike again. <laughs> Unbelievable. Spike can't hide to save his life. What? <laughs> what do you mean can't hide? Well, I'll show you how to hide. That means you too, little piggy. <gasps> it's a black frog. <gasps> What's the matter? Don't you know? Running into a black frog is bad luck. Bad luck, I'm telling you. <laughs> a black frog! Stop! Stop! Don't move! <laughs> back! Back, I say! Oh, back! Ah, run away! Run away! Oh, big deal. A black frog. So what? It's just a superstition. We don't believe in such things. Okay, we gotta go. Let's go. 
<laughs> Have a look. Isn't she a darling? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. You guys know nothing about being fabulous. Cuba? Are you all right? Leo, what if this thing is actually for real? What are you talking about? A black frog hopped on Cuba. And Spike said that this is bad luck for him. A black frog? Huh. Actually, there is a story I heard before. It's of the spooky swamp monster. <laughs> In a dark and gloomy forest, in a spooky, noxious swamp, there once dwelled the evil, wicked swamp monster. <laughs> and it was bringing nothing but misery to every creature in the forest. So the kind spirit of the taiga chose to punish the swamp monster. And he turned it into an eerie black frog. But even as a frog, the inhabitants of the forest could not rest, for the swamp monster continued his reign of terror, bringing bad luck to all who crossed his path. <laughs> So it means Cuba is going to be Don't get yourselves worked up. They say that the curse only works for just one day. If nothing happens to Cuba overnight, then you don't have to worry about a thing. See? Relax. Nothing will happen to him. Together? We'll protect him. Tig, keep your eyes peeled. I will, Leo. By the way, I just remembered one more sign of bad luck. <laughs> Cuba, spit it out! What if they're last year's? Everyone knows this fact. The one who eats last year's acorn will have an oak tree grow out of his head. I heard this from Magpie. So Cuba, you better play it safe. You'll eat tomorrow. Cuba! Cuba! Cuba, you can't roll in the mud! Did you know that there are evil spirits there? That's it. They must be hiding in there for sure. <laughs> Tomorrow the bad luck will wear off for sure. We just have to survive the night is all. Yeah, and I know a safe place right around here. <laughs> Bravo, Tig! You found us a pretty good cave. Nothing bad is going to happen to Cuba here. You got that right. 
Did you hear the story about the cave monster? No, Tank. He's somewhere around here. And then the monster suddenly jumps out. Cuba! 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 Wait! Cuba, stop! Cuba, stop! Cuba, stop! Cuba, Cuba stop! <laughs> curse must be real. He's doomed to sit in this pit till the end of time, huh? Tig, we need to ask Mappa Pandiga for help. All right. The black frog, you say? Well, yes. It brings bad luck. Please tell me how a small, tiny little frog could have driven Cuba into a pit. Well, it wasn't the frog. He did it himself. He got scared to death and... Well, who scared him that much then? Yes, uh, who indeed? Why are you looking at me like that? Tig? I think all our stories may have scared the living hooves out of Cuba. Oh. <laughs> oh. Kids, with your good intentions, you trample the path for your friend right to a pit. You know what? Because of all these bad luck signs, even I started to get spooked. We're sorry, Cuba. How about some hide and seek? <laughs> That's bad luck for sure. Tig! I hope those aren't last year's acorns. Tig! Aw, oh, come on. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already fed up with this snow. Tig, it suits you. Spring is over, and it's still freezing. Uh-huh. I really miss all that sunshine, too. <laughs> and I miss the flowers. Come out, sunshine. Where did you go? <laughs> I'm sure it will come out just for you. There once was someone in the taiga who the sun listened to. <gasps> really? Tell us more, Mappa. Come along with me, kids. The Sun Folk. <laughs> Look at that. Awesome. Mappa, who are they? This is the Sun Folk. What kind of folk? Sun Folk. These animals lived in the taiga a long time ago. It is said that they descended from the sun itself. 
In cold times, when the sun used to stop giving warmth to the earth, they used to send the chosen one, the strongest and fastest one in their tribe, to talk to the forefather and ask him to turn up the heat. And the sun listened to him. But Mapa Pandiga, how did they talk to the sun? It's so high up. There is a valley of geysers behind the Quick River and the Big Swamp. And in the valley lies the magical sunstone. They used it to communicate. Mapa, where are these sun folks right now? Nobody knows. Some say they left these parts a long time ago. But others believe that the sun folk is still among us. They just forgot about where they came from. There, look. To me, this chosen one looks like Leo, don't you think? <laughs> You're right. <gasps> he does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kids. Let's get going. It's getting chilly. <laughs> Leo, Leo, stop sitting around. Come play tag with us. Tig, I still can't get the Sun Folk story out of my head. <laughs> Try to think on the run. <laughs> it will warm you up a lot. Just listen for a sec. What if I, I mean, leopards are the Sun Folk? And I'm the Chosen One. You, the Chosen One? Why not? You said yourself that the one from the picture looks a lot like me. Well, he does. It means I have to go to the Valley of the Geysers and look for the Sunstone. Leo, it's very dangerous to go to the Valley. <laughs> Guys, come on, try to understand. If I am the Chosen One, I have to talk to the Sun. Otherwise, summer will never come. Whether you're the Chosen One or not, this much, I know. We're not going to let you go alone. Yeah, Tig is right. We'll go with you. No way. I'm not going to go in that water. Let me think. I'll come up with something. A raft? Wow, Cuba. You're a genius. Leo, what are you doing? Hop on the raft. You forget, Tig. I'm the chosen one. <laughs> I have to find the sunstone by myself. <laughs> Leo! Well, <laughs> don't worry, I got this, guys. <laughs> We finally made it to the big swamp. I'm sure that this whole swamp is already frozen or something. Whoa! Maybe not. Leo, where are you going? I'm jumping over it. Leo, that's crazy. Come with us. It is safer together. Don't be afraid, guys. I'm the chosen one. I totally got this. If this so-called sunstone does not exist, you're giving me a piggy ride back. Uh, 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 oh. Leo, uh, you might want to be careful. Uh, it's okay. I can do this. I am the chosen one. It's okay when you use teamwork and avoid taking unnecessary risks. Are you coming? Yeah. You guys taking a nap? Let's go. <sighs> okay. Now Leo will crawl up to his hunk of rock, say hello to the sun, and then we can go home. Hey, guys, what about the geysers? What about the geyser schmeisers? They won't stop us. Oh, 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 oh. 
Mama didn't say that they were hot. <gasps> Whoa! The sunstone! Found it! <sighs> Leo, wait for us! Tried hard, but you see, there's no way to get through. Let's forget about the stone. Let's go home, okay? Uh, guys, you go. I'll catch up later. Chosen one. I got this. I can do this. I'm sorry, Leo, but it seems even the chosen one can't do it by himself. But together, we got this. Come on, push! <laughs> <laughs> Do it! Leo, do it quickly! Ask the sun for some warmth! No, we should do it together! One, two, three! Hello! Excuse, Excuse me, sun! More heat! Pretty please! Be a pal, would you? Together, we just asked it nicely, and the sunshine came out. By the time we came back, everything already bloomed. Nicely done. It has indeed become much warmer. It was Leo's idea. <laughs> he suggested we go to the Sunstone. Thank you, friends. Without your help, I just couldn't have done it myself. Ah, kids. As they say, the one without friends is like a tree without roots. And always remember this. Two heads are better than one. Mystery. <laughs> I did it! I did it! Hooray! I did it! Oh, Tig. Don't give me that Tig stuff. It's them. They're playing it wrong. No writing aloud. Hello? Are you playing? Can I join in? I'm on Team Mila. No way! 
It's two against three now. It won't be fair at all. It's okay, Tig. Let her play. And we'll get Martik on board. That's him in the grass. Night has fallen, but there's a noise. Now, old Cedar, raise your voice. Martique, come join us. No, no can do. I've got pine cones to collect here. Why do you need so many, Martique? Well, it's for an important task. <sighs> Follow me, I'll show you. That's where our cedar pine grew. It burnt down. The spruce was here. Also burnt down. Yeah, the red deer spared no one. <laughs> and this is my home tree. Well, it was. Night has fallen, but there's a noise. Now, old cedar, raise your voice. Quiet branches, don't be loud. Mark to hear is sleeping sound. Little squirrel, now you sleep tight. Close your pretty lullaby that our tree sang to me. This tree? Sang it? <laughs> That's true. I heard it in the rustle of the leaves. Martique, what do you need the pine cones for? What do you mean? For the seeds. I'll collect a big pile of them. Then I'll plant them, and our forest will grow big again. Then you should have said so. And you really shouldn't be making up singing trees. Cuba, go on then. Get digging. We're planting a forest. Tig, wait. Do you know how long it will take them to grow? A century. There must be some faster way to do it. No, children. I don't know of a faster way. But I do know one legend. That was a long time ago. The tiger was visited by an enormous red deer and set the whole forest ablaze. The fire was so strong that even the spirit of the tiger himself got scared. The spirit hid in the last cone on the very top of the tallest cedar tree. The cedar started reaching for the sky to save the spirit of the tiger. The red deer couldn't reach the cone, and he retreated. The cedar opened the cone. Its seeds were scattered, and wherever they hit the ground, a forest started to grow really fast. Because that cone had the magic power of the spirit of the tiger. Since then, the cedar has been here. They call it the Great Cedar because it saved the tiger. That's the story, kids. Wow, Mappa Pandiga, I thought it was called Great because it was really big. But as it turns out, it saved all of the tiger. Hmm. 
We must find a way to get to the highest cone. What if it's a magic one? Let's just plant regular seeds here. Tig is scared. <laughs> well, uh, I'm not scared. Tig, come on. We'll climb it somehow. That's what we have claws for. Huh? It might get windy. Uh, what we should do is get the cone by throwing a stone. Hey, guys, up there, look! <laughs> not far now. What do we do next, Leo? We'll scatter the seeds around from the top of the very tallest tree, like in the legend. That way, the seeds will be spread far and wide. The tallest tree here is my home tree. <laughs> ah! It's a monster! <gasps> Run! Uh, oh. Look out! Mortique, why didn't you warn us about such a, such a... Uh, because it wasn't uh, there. It must have appeared because of the fire. Did you see how black it was? I did. That's because he must be an ash monster. And he's here because he doesn't want us to plant the magic cone's magic seeds. What do we do? Make it leave. Take that and that and no. there. Against such a big, strong monster, we don't stand a chance. But I've got a plan. Listen. Hey, monster! Look what I've got. It's a magic pine cone. If you want it, come and get it! What? It's not magic. <laughs> and the magic cone goes to Martique. Martique, go on. <sighs> it's too high. Martique, be careful. <gasps> Flying on a wing, mighty forest bright. Who won't scare at night? Magic dreamland here awaits. Don't be scared! It's the tree spirit. It's calling you with grace. Can you hear that? Listen, that's. We'll show you the pretty world. It is full of magic goods. It's all true. It's a singing tree. It's so beautiful. Hooray! Wow, beautiful. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> we did it, home tree. <laughs> A miracle! <laughs> For all miracles are done by the power of love. And if you have a magical pine cone, that also helps. <laughs> 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 Tiger Patrol. Know what I was thinking, Leo? <sighs> How our dear Taiga is so vast and beautiful. Right you are, Tig. I've been wondering. There must be other countries. Of course there are, kids. Mappa Pandiga, can you tell us something about other countries? Oh, that's very interesting. Just for an example, there's a place where it never ever snows. <laughs> 
Yeah, right. Next thing you know, you'll be telling us that striped deer live there, too. <laughs> Do they ever? But there aren't deer. The horses. Listen here now. That land is called Africa. It's full of wondrous animals. A giant with a leg instead of a nose. A toothy lizard the size of a huge log. A beast with a neck so long that it can eat the leaves off the top of a tree. And although they look different, they are similar to us. Just like us, they are friends with each other. And they too love their land. Sometimes they get into trouble. And so, I've heard that for times like that, they have a special team of heroes in Africa. They're called the Guardians. Should any animal need help, they come to the rescue. They are always ready to help. These Guardians are known around the world. Wow, it must be great to be a Guardian. I wish I were in that, what do you call it, Africa? I would love to be a guardian. Tig, we don't need Africa. Let's make a team of our own, right here, in the taiga. Wow, Leo, that's a really cool idea. Leo and Tig, guardians of the taiga. No, Tig, the guardians is taken. We have to call ourselves something else. Something for the taiga. Well, how about the taiga patrol? Ha! Awesome! The Tiger Patrol comes to the rescue! <laughs> I just can't! Spots and stripes down there! <laughs> the Tiger Patrol! <laughs> That's hilarious! <laughs> Enough! Just... just go away! No, 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 no! You'll fail anyways! You'll make fools of yourselves! <laughs> That's right, you'll fail! <laughs> Leo, so who are we gonna help first, huh? <laughs> Here you go, Mila. Oh, hi there, boys. Thank you so much. We're not boys, Mila. We're the Tiger Patrol, and you can let everyone know. Come on, Tig. Let's go see if someone else needs our help. Children. We are the Tiger Patrol. Look at them, huh? Soon everyone will be talking about these do-gooders. Let's just... let's just throw cones at them, huh? No way. I've got an even better idea. Come on, come on, laugh! Good! Hello, Beaver Bro! Do you need any help on your Beaver River? Huh? No need, thank you. We can manage just fine. Goodbye. All right, Tiger Patrol. If we're not needed here, let's just go. Yeah, the Tiger Patrol. Well, now that changes everything. You put that log over there for me, please. <laughs> just be careful. <laughs> hey. Sound the alarm. Yeah, we've got a leak! Oh, my dear! How unfortunate! <laughs> Get lost, you! Get out! You're way not a patrol! Uh, so you're the Tiger Patrol? Sure! Who else? I am so glad that you're here. Some wasps built a nest on our tree. Now we're afraid to go back to our hollow. Help us, please. Ha! Piece of cake! We'll move it for you, no problem. Ah! Save yourself! Somebody help! Please! Stop! Oh! My mistake! <laughs> Leo, is 
Isn't it great that we're the Taiga Patrol now? Nothing better than knowing the whole Taiga respects you. Here, here, here. We'll help you, and we'll deliver it right to your burrow. <laughs> we are the Taiga Patrol. Ah! Ah! Help us! Ah! Help us! Ah! What's wrong? Ah! We just want to help you. The beavers and the squirrels the warned us that the patrol is nothing but 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 patrol. Ah! Oh, help! Help! I'm help confused. Help! Did we even help those squirrels? Tig. I think I know who's behind this. Uh, Spike, what are you doing over there? <laughs> Setting a trap. Spots and stripes will be passing here soon. And I've got a surprise for them. <laughs> Spike, Spike, quiet. <laughs> I really set them up, eh? Now the name Tiger Patrol makes everyone run scared. <laughs> I knew it. You're just up to your old tricks again. And you are going to pay for this, you imposters. Ha! I bet you can't catch us! <laughs> <laughs> We've got to lead them to the trap! <laughs> hey, Spotty Patrol! <laughs> You're gonna be banished from the tiger for good! That's it! You're gonna get it for good! <laughs> <laughs> you got caught in your own trap. <laughs> hey, patrol, are you there? Please help us. Pretty please. Oh, please. No way. <laughs> Stay there and think about what you've done. Hey. You can't leave! Don't go! Please, come back! Oh, Mappa, nice to see you. We are the Taiga Patrol. <laughs> Heroes. Can you tell us where we can go to help somebody? I don't know, kids. Ah, maybe the spirit of the Taiga will tell. He knows this forest well. How can he tell? <laughs> he doesn't even talk. Of course he talks to you. With signs, you just need to learn to see them. Someone out there needs us. Thank you, Mappa Pandiga. Tiger Patrol, to the rescue. I can't see you. We're here. Help us. Quiet down, will you? We won't be able to hear if anyone needs help. They are the ones who need saving. Who do? The Martins? But they're the ones who built this trap to capture us. And now we're supposed to just save them? Yeah, we want to do good deeds. And they just hurt everybody. Leaving someone in trouble. Ah, that's not a good deed. No, that's not what heroes what? should do. Spike, why did you get in the way of Leo and Tig? Because everyone's talking and talking about them. Yes. But they're so kind. Yeah, so nice. We want praise. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. Leo, Tig, why don't you put Spike and his brothers on your patrol? Mm, well, I don't know. Please take us on, and we'll be sure to behave. We, we promise. promise. All right, fine. You can join. <laughs> but only so we can keep an eye on them. Well done, children. All righty then, Tiger Patrol. Let's do it! Good deeds can't just go and do themselves. <laughs> That's what the spirit of the tiger says. <laughs> Real! Catch! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 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 
Cuba in love. Cuba! What, you get stuck over there? <laughs> oh, look at that! A piggy! I haven't seen her before. I know her. I do. This is Lada. Her family just recently moved into our forest. <laughs> it looks like our Cuba has, you know, fallen in love. <laughs> uh, love, love. I can see, my friend, that your heart was touched by a wonderful feeling. Why don't I tell you a love story? Once upon a time, in the taiga, there lived a swan princess, a real beauty. She had three suitors. The first one dove to the bottom of the sea and got her all. Look how well I can dive. I am the very best. Well, the second one flew to the top of the highest mountain and brought from the peak a precious gem. Look how high I can fly, princess. It's me who's the best. Now the third swan started to think, what present should he give to the princess? Well, he flew far and wide in search of a worthy present. He almost gave up. But one day, while flying over a glade, he spotted a snowdrop. He gave the snowdrop to the princess and told her that only the first flower of spring was worthy of her beauty. And the princess made her choice. She gave her love to the third swan. Because unlike the other two, he was thinking about her and not himself. Eh? So what? I don't get it. Cuba's got to give the girl a snowdrop, then? It's not snowdrop season. It's not about snowdrops. Don't be shy. All you have to do is go to your beloved and do something from the heart. Cuba, wait! Legends are great, of course. Uh, but you're, you know, no swan. You can't go meet her like that. I bet she won't even talk to you. Cuba, you're covered in mud from hooves to tail. Don't despair, Cuba. We can help you. I can't turn you into a swan. But a very handsome boar you could be, okay? That I can promise you. Cuba, hang on. Beauty always has a price. There you go, Cuba. Now you're the most handsome boar in the woods. Wait! We still aren't finished yet. Cuba, you're clean all right, but you're still a little bit plain, you know? Don't you worry, buddy, because we're going to dress you up. <laughs>
better now. As good as a swan. Right. Remember, you, sir, are the fanciest boar in all of the taiga. Now go! <laughs> <laughs> don't get upset, Cuba. Girls don't know anything about being beautiful. What if she's just not attracted to flashy looks? Right. How should we, I mean Cuba, try to win her over then? He should try to do something impressive. Heroic, even. A uh, feat. That's it. Cuba, how do you feel about fighting a wolf? How about crossing the rapids? Or would you... <sighs> jump across a huge gorge? <sighs> it won't work, Leo. Cuba is afraid of everything. That's fine. I've got an idea for you. Stay where you are, Piggy. I am going to eat you for lunch. Oh, oh no! It's a wolf. Let's run. Don't worry, our Cuba. He's so brave, he'll beat any wolf. A whole pack of wolves. Oh, ow! Whoa, oh! Whoa, oh! I burped! Oh, no, oh. no! Lotta, stop! Oh. oh, it really hurts! Oh, you're a hero! Oh, oh, oh! Oops. <laughs> I told you this wasn't going to work. Cuba. Who cares? She's just some girl. She is bound to like you, you know. You are so, so. Get away from me. Phew. Looks like we're too late. I don't get it. So what? Did Cuba chase the wolf away? You would have chickened out, I bet. What? No way. A wise man once said, be yourself and you'll find someone's heart will open to you.
Watch this. I got this. I am going to hit it on the first try. <laughs> you missed. It's all it's all because of the wind. <laughs> sure, the wind. <laughs> well, let me give that another shot. <laughs> Something always gets in Tig's way. A foundling. Fellas! Huh? Look at what I found. It was there in the sand. Oh, an egg. I wonder who it belongs to. And, oh, I wonder who's going to pop out of it. Or, or what's going to pop out of it. For something to pop out of it, one of us will have to sit on it first. So, Tig, go ahead. <laughs> sit down. Uh, why do I have to do it? Because you, my friend, are the most fluffy and the most pillowy. I'm curious. Do you think it could be a duck? <gasps> Maybe a stork. I heard that snakes also hatch from eggs. No! What in the? The snake bit me! Relax, will ya? It's just a little turtle. <gasps> Look how cute it is. <gasps> He's so precious. <laughs> Tig can't tell a baby turtle from a snake. <laughs> oh, come on, Leo. I was just kidding a bit. Scared you, didn't I? <gasps> Ooh, a meal! <gasps> Hey, guys! Look over here! Our little turtle glued his fingers together. Maybe he's a little weird? I got it. That must be why the other turtles ditched him. Oh, poor baby. We'll take really good care of you. Isn't that right, boys? Of course we will. Know what? I'm going to make a true tiger out of him. Why, a tiger, huh? He could become a great leopard. Ooh, I will call you a little baby T. <sighs> Remember, baby T, tiger is the tiger's king. <laughs> we got a king. Don't interrupt, Leo. T. Do you know why everyone is afraid of tigers? Because they are really, really super fierce. Roar! Make sense? Well, now you try. Come on, louder, like this. Roar! Enough! Now it's my turn. Bear in mind, Baby T, that an ambush is the best way to overcome an enemy. We leopards are experts at this. <laughs> well, that's not quite like a leopard, <laughs> but it's a good start. And use that little precious angel in the bathtub, huh? <laughs> it's you, my little cutie patootie. Okay, Baby T, your mission right now is to catch this dragonfly. And we tigers call this thing hunting. Now go! All right, Tig, I think it's my turn to train little T now. No way, because he's still not a real tiger yet. But he won't be. 
Because Baby T will grow up to become the bravest leopard. Tiger, leopard, guys, does it really even matter? He's just a baby. Oh, guys, guys, wh wh where is T? Yoo-hoo, little guy. Hello, T, where are you? Baby T, come out, say something. We're here. Nope, we'll never find him like this. We gotta split up. Tig, you go left. And Mila, you go right. I'll go straight ahead. Yoo-hoo! Baby T! <laughs> Where are you? Oh, Mila. Where are you going in such a hurry? Oh, Mappa Pandiga. Hello, sir. We can't find our little baby T anywhere. Where's little T? What do you mean? Baby T. You know, the little turtle? He has these special sort of little feet, as if they're glued together. Nope. I haven't seen him. Also, what would a turtle with glued feet, as you say, be doing in the forest? Turtles live elsewhere. No way! But where? Well, let me tell you. A long while ago, all turtles used to live ashore. But one fateful day, spring came about and brought along high waters. One of the islands on the river became completely covered in water. Then the oldest and wisest turtle turned to the river and asked it to have pity on them and teach her children and grandchildren how to swim. The river was deeply moved by her plea and gave all turtles webbed feet. But they still lay their eggs ashore, so that before going into water, the little ones could get a chance to know where they came from, land, their first home. It is a memory they will cherish for the rest of their lives. And when a baby turtle comes into the world, it is guided to the water by the soul of that very wise turtle. So that means that T is a water dweller. Yoo-hoo! T! Where are you? Say something! Ugh, there's no sign of him. Guys, guys, listen up! It turns out that T is a water dweller. What? A water dweller? If that's true, then that must mean he... Yes! He's at the river! <gasps> but guys, the vulture! <laughs> My lunch order's here! With an extra crispy tortilla shell! <laughs> oh! Hey, you! Back off our little baby tea! Could you say that again? Didn't catch that! Keep your filthy beak off baby tea! <laughs> I'm so honored to have guests for dinner! <gasps> Look, it's 
It's her! It's the wise turtle! Goodbye! Swim tea! This is your family. And well, I wanted to say, you are one awesome tiger. And a brave leopard. See? Don't forget to ride! Skin of the Sun. Okay, Mom, I'll go now. No, don't be too late. All right, Mom. Hey, you, Chubster, can't find a better place to sit? He's a striped woolsack. <laughs> Let him be. Mapa Pandiga is waiting for us. Wow, Tig. Let's go. Let's see who's faster. Huh. Have you learned how to run? Oh, I'm gonna wait for you over there. What's wrong? Oh, it's so high. Tig, come on, what's the problem? Seriously, not again, man. Look, I can leave there and back. Just jump. We're gonna be late. The striped one is afraid of heights again. <laughs> Let's take a roundabout. We'll have plenty of time. Oh, of course. A roundabout. Much faster. We'll be there by night. <laughs> wow, awesome. <laughs> one fat one's gonna visit me. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be late to San well, well, where is it? Okay. Ah, oh, here it is. I found it. All right, kids. When my grandfather was a bear cub, a tiger lived in the giant forest full of trees, beautiful lakes, and formidable peaks. The tiger. He was weak and chicken-hearted, so nobody was afraid of him. Once, a severe drought came. The tiger thought, oh, the sun must be the strongest animal in the world. I wish I'd become this strong. So the tiger decided to lay paws on the skin of the sun. But the skin was guarded by a fierce bear. Papa Pandiga, was he as fierce as you are? No. A saber-toothed bear. He resides in his big black cave and protects the way of the stone claw, the place where the sun is nesting. So the tiger sneaked past the saber-toothed bear while he was asleep and put on the skin of the sun. The tiger became the most fearless animal in the forest. All the animals and the tiger bowed their heads to him. It was on Equilibrium Day, when night is equal to day. I want to get this skin, too. Tig, I know where the stone claw is. I saw the sun setting down there. And today's Equilibrium Day. Hurry up! The skin of the sun? Thank, Thank you, you Mama Pantiga! I have to get this skin! Leo! What do you think? Was it for real? All the things that Pandiga told us about? Sure. You heard it, man. I wish I'd become the bravest tiger in the whole forest. How long do you think we've been running for? Huh? What was that? Hey, Tig. We're gonna get the skin of the sun for you, and you'll become the bravest one on Earth. Tig? Tig, what is it now? You just have to walk on this very huge, very wide log. Come on, come on. That's right. Good job. Don't look down. Just look at me. That's it. Okay. No! Hold on! 
Guys, follow me! We gotta get there first before the sun sets! Should we go now? Back home? Up the river? Oh no, we're never gonna make it at this rate. Okay, it's not the way. And here is not the way either. Where is it, huh? Aha! Look over there! What did Mama Pandiga tell us? Come and put your paw on the sun tree in the evening, and the way will be enlightened. Run along towards the sunset! <sighs> Leo, look! <laughs> Whoa! I always knew the stories were true. <laughs> Tig, stop talking. Let's run! <laughs> Whoa! I always knew the stories were true. <laughs> yeah. The cave of the saber-toothed bear! We can't go further! Hmm. How can we climb this mountain? Hey guys, over there! <laughs> gonna set soon. Faster, faster! Run, Tig! We gotta get there before the sun goes down. Leo, I think we'd better go back. Come on, Tig! Forget it! Stupid skin. Maybe it doesn't even exist. No skin? What are you talking about? It must be there. Mappa said to catch the sun before it goes down. So run! Come on, come on, we're almost there. The rock is so close. Oh, wow. Look at this. We're so high. Is this the place? Shh, keep quiet. This is the cave of the saber tooth bear. Whose cave? You mean the saber tooth? Oh, no thanks, I'll pass. Me neither. Look there. The stone claw. Let's go! <laughs> Leo! Careful! Uh, you know what? You better go on your own. Wait there! I'll bring the skin! The skin of the sun! I'll be the mightiest in the whole forest! Come on! Go down now! What was that noise? Ah, the spotted one! <laughs> hey, you! What do you think you're doing here? The skin is mine! Buzz off while you can! No way! <sighs> I'm here to get it! And I won't leave without it! What? You won't leave? Well, we're gonna help you! <laughs> Leo! I'm coming! Too busy running away, I didn't notice any saber tooth bears. You know, Tig, you don't need no skin. 
You're the bravest tiger in the world. <gasps> Sounds like a saber tooth bear. <laughs> Keep cool. That's my mom. That's your mom? Quite a mom you have. <gasps> uh oh, that must be the saber tooth bear. No, no. That one's my mom. We better get home and fast. Everybody has a skin. But to make it glow like the sun, you need to find your path. <clears throat> Every grass blade in Taiga is alive. That's because hidden inside it is the spirit of the Taiga. Hidden? How is that? Just like that. <laughs> the spirit of the Taiga is everywhere in the grass and trees, on mountaintops, and even the deepest caves. The mysterious cave. Okay, here. No, they'll find me here. And here's where they found me the last time. And this was the one before that. Oh! Uh! But here. No way they'll find me here. Leo, look at this. Hmm. Tig, follow me. Oh, dear. Oh dear. So, where's Mila? <laughs> Tig, have you seen her? Ah, oh, Mila, when will you learn to hide properly? The same place for the third time? Mila, come on, don't be upset. I know. Let's play tag. No, no, no. One more time, please. The last one. <sighs> Mila, this was the last time. The last, last time, then. The very last time. I swear. Six, seven, oh, eight, where should I go? nine, where ten, should I go? eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Ready or not, here I come. Aha! Uh -huh. Tig, I found you. Oh, hey, that's not fair. You counted too fast. No, 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 no. Here, here, here. No, 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 no. There. What should I do? They'll find me here, too. Oh. oh, a cave. I'm gonna hide so well, they'll never find me. Whoa! What darkness. Oh, boy! Oh, oh. Isn't this a good spot to hide? she would hide. It's weird. She's not here either. Leo! Look, I found some tracks. Wow, it's Mila's tracks. Follow me! Whoa. Uh-uh. I wouldn't go inside. Leo, wait! She's definitely not in there. Tig? Wait a sec. Look! It's Mila's flower! She's in there. Let's go, Tig! You sure? No way! 
Leo! Oh, come on. No, no. Oh, fine. You win, Leo. I'm coming! Ah! Oh, wow. Leo! Leo, you there? I'm here, Tig. You okay? Well, I didn't lose my tail. <laughs> Leo, where are we? We're in a cave, and Mila was definitely here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so amazing. Oh, wow. Hurrah. Look, Tig. Whoa. You're on the tracks. Awesome. Tig, hurry up. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Ah, Leo. <gasps> Wait for me. <gasps> Don't leave me alone. <sighs> Mila, Mila. <sighs> Can we take a break? No, Tig. The tracks, they disappeared. Help! I'm tired. Help! You hear that? Leo! Tig! That's Mila! She's over there! Oh, okay, fine. Right behind you. lost. Oh, okay. Don't panic. You can figure this out. Okay. Uh, think, think. Uh, this way. Uh, uh. Mila, don't be afraid. Oh, I can do this. Don't worry. I'll think of something. I'm not afraid. Well, at first I was a little scared. But then I asked, and he helped me. And here you guys are. Wait. Who helped you, Mila? Well, I don't really know. I just thought that I was trapped, but these pretty crystals started to show me the way. Crystals? Yeah, Mila. I think I got it. It's the spirit of the tiger. Remember Pantiga told us about him? He lives inside grass and trees, on mountain summits, and even in the deepest of caves and stuff. I know how to get out of here. We'll get help from the spirit of the tiger. The spirit of the tiger is the soul of nature. He's everywhere. Every grass blade and every rock is full of life. The spirit of the taiga cannot be seen, but he can be felt. He's always at your side, and he will help you, as long as you believe in him. The spirit of the taiga? Seriously? That's just a legend. Fairy tales made for children. That's it! There's no spirit. You're so gullible. Guess we're just gonna have to stay here forever. Tig, wait. Oh, spirit of the taiga. Would you please help us to find a way home? Oh. Oh. Thank you, spirit of the tiger! Now, guys, follow me! Leo, wait for us! <laughs> Leo, come on. Are you really gonna follow some bug? Like he can guide us outside. Leo. Tig, we'll end up staying here forever because of you. Why me? What did I do? Can't you ask the spirit of yours to guide us out of here a little bit faster? I'm getting hungry. Ask him yourself. Fine, I will. Nothing tricky about that. Listen, spirit, would you mind hurrying it up a little bit? <laughs> See that? 
see the... Wow, Tig. Okay. Great job. Couldn't you be more polite? Uh, right. Pretty, please? Oh, Leo, what are those things? Those are... Those are bats! <laughs> hey, wait! Hooray! We made it! <sighs> well, Dick, how about that? Exactly what you asked for. Really fast. Right. In the end, he's really nice, that spirit of the taiga. <laughs> and you didn't believe in him. <laughs> <laughs> Not true. I believed him. I was joking. Let's go home. Hurry up. You're unbelievable. The spirit of the taiga is everywhere. But only those who genuinely believe in miracles are really able to see him. Tag, <laughs> you're it! Not fair! Cause you... you took a shortcut! Hi guys! I made a song, you know. You wanna hear it? <laughs> a song? <laughs> Can you even Me sing? Well, let's play tag instead! <laughs> Tig is it? No, I'm not. Not anymore. <laughs> Just you wait. <laughs> Winter tale. No, oh, King. Kids, today I will tell you a very old story I know about a bear and a magical song. Hear that, Mila? About a song. Right up your alley. <laughs> it happened a long time ago. There lived a bear who was very strong and kind, taking care of the entire taiga and making sure everything was in order. But then winter came, bringing the blizzard with it. It howled and raged and covered the forest in a snowy blanket. All the animals hid in their burrows, and the bear grew sad and lonely. He wandered around the forest all by himself and bellowed in a terrible voice, disturbing everyone's sleep and scaring baby animals. Suddenly, a small bird flew over. It sat on a tree branch next to the bear and sang a song. It sang about winter ending and spring coming back, about the sun warming up the earth again, about plants bursting into bloom and animals leaving their burrows to play. The bear listened to the song until he fell asleep. And ever since that time, as soon as winter comes, the bear climbs into his lair and sleeps there until... <sighs> Papa Pandiga, Spring. is it true that the bear sleeps with his paw in his mouth? Uh, how am I supposed to know? There is no creature fearless enough to sniff around the bear's hole. Tig, what do you think? Is it a front paw that the bears have in their mouth? Or a hind one? No, a front one. Hind paws are too far. But to know for sure, we gotta wait till Pandiga falls asleep. Why wait? We can take a peek at Beelzy and see everything. Leo, are you sure about that? <laughs> 
There's nothing to be afraid of. I'll just take a peek and get out. Ah! Leo! Leo! Whoa! Oh dear! Leela, run! again if he listens to a lullaby. Can I be the one to sing? Be my guest. Go ahead and sing. Why don't you dance while you're at it? This is serious business here. When I was small, my mom used to tell me stories before bedtime. Bingo! A boring story. That's exactly what we need. It'll put him right to sleep. Leo, but how are we going to lure him in? Piece of cake. Snowball tree berries. <laughs> He's coming. In position, everyone. Dig, do it.
Well done, Mila! That was so great! Thank you so much, Magic Birdie. How should I grab him? Gently. Careful not to wake him up. Boy, heavy. Here goes. Hey, thanks, Mila, for having my back. <laughs> Come on. It's nothing. So, is he... Yup. With his front paw in his mouth. Mila. Why didn't you tell us you were such a great singer? My turn. Oh, sleep tight, baby. Bear, rest your head. Have no fear. <laughs> oh, come on. What's so funny? I'm not that bad. <laughs> like, like mole, mole in, in his burrow, burrow like, like fox in, in his hole. And, and afterwards, winter will bid you goodbye. And spring will arrive in the blink of an eye. The air so warm, but for now you should sleep. And that's how a good song can make can make a miracle. <laughs> Over there, hiding behind a bush. <laughs> the tiger kids is like nature's own pantry. And what is the richest, most filling time to be in the forest? What time? Lunch time? No. <laughs> the most generous time is the autumn season. <laughs> you chickens, you got scared of an empty snakeskin. Come over here. Do not be afraid. Mappa, so the snake is now crawling around completely naked? Like a plain earthworm? But why? No, kids, no. The snake sheds its old skin and crawls out of it wearing a new one. That's a neat trick. I wish I could do that. Whenever your coat gets dirty, all you gotta do is take it off and carry on. <laughs> Mapa Pandiga, how did the snake learn to shed its old skin? Mmm, that's a very interesting story. <clears throat> Have a seat and listen. Once upon a time, there lived a great snake, the king of all snakes. But he grew very old and couldn't see well, or even crawl anymore. So, the great snake ordered his subjects to find a cure for old age. The snakes shot off in all directions. They searched every deep crevice and every underground cave, but found nothing. The last one to come back was the whip snake carrying a secret root. The great snake ate the root and crawled out of his old skin. Once again, he was young, strong, and healthy. The great snake was very happy. After that, he made it so that a shiny trail is left wherever the whip snake crawled. That magical root. Oh, that root was ginseng. Ha <laughs> ha! The sun! Finally! <laughs> Ma 
Papa Pendiga, <laughs> let's go to, uh, to eat some grapes. Oh, I'm a little under the weather. Oh, and my back hurts. Mappa Pandiga, what's wrong with you? <gasps> Poor Mappa Pandiga! It looks like he came down with something. We have to help him. Totally. But how? I know how. We are going to find that magical root. Remember? It can cure everything. Right, Leo. Let's go find that... Jasingji. Uh, but where do we find it? Oh, is this it? No, Teague. This is a Manchurian walnut. Haven't you listened to anything Mappa told us? We have been looking for this root for an hour. Maybe the thing doesn't exist. I think I found it. <laughs> Follow me. Oh, wow. It's like in a fairy tale. These marks are left by the whip snake. We could track him down. Right, and then ask him to help find the magical root. To cure our mappa. Uh, uh, guys, I think I'm scared. This must be the whip snake's lair. Uh, I don't think that whip snake is home right now. So let's just get out of here. No, we came here to get ginseng for our mappa, and we need to find it. Leo, what if there's no ginseng here either? Don't say that. Of course there is, and we'll find it. Well then, I'm just gonna wait for you guys here. I don't like swamps. I mean, I'm allergic. Huh. Huh. a leech here. Which one of you is the most delicious? No, no. We don't taste good at all. Yeah, I'm bitter and sour. Silly kids. Why would you march into the swamp? We're really <gasps> sorry. We just needed the magical root. It's for a good cause. To help someone. <coughs> Our Mappa Pandiga, he got really sick. Magical root can cure any disease. You know Mappa Pandiga? Right, I remember him as he was still a bear cub. Well, hop on. I'll give you a ride. Now, wait.
its most valuable part is in the ground. It's the root that's the most magical. Take it and say hello from me to Mappa. We sure will, Mr. Whipsnake. Thank you, Mr. Wise Whipsnake, sir. Goodbye, Mr. Snake. See you later. See you. <sighs> Why do we even have to climb this mountain when we could be at home right now playing games? And look, look at the sky. I think it's gonna rain. I really hate autumn. Okay, we've arrived. Look at how majestic oh, our tiger is, is in autumn. Woohoo! The view is beautiful! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> you know what I always say, right? Autumn is my favorite time of the year. <laughs> tiger can not only give you food, but also medicine. The Silver River. to see that. <laughs> and then? What happened then? And then? And then Tig woke me up. Oh, hey, Leo. I think I know where you can find your silver river. <gasps> the silver river. Just like in my dream. Whoa! Leo, Leo, no, Leo! <laughs> this is just a bunch of moths. Come on. Leo, there's no reason to get so upset. It was just a dream. It wasn't just any dream. It was the best dream ever. And I was flying in it. Oh, dear. We've upset our friend. And on his birthday, too. Mm -hmm. Mappa Pandiga, can we ask you for some advice? Today is Leo's birthday. Mm -hmm. And he really wants to see the Silver River really badly. So I tried to take him to a river as a present, but it failed. The Silver River? <laughs> Few animals get a chance to see it. So, wait a minute, Mappa. Does the Silver River really exist? Let me tell you a story. A long, long time ago, there was a salmon named Mazu. He was swimming around the seas and rivers, maintaining peace and order and helping those in need. Mazu came to have many friends, but one day he saw a bird soaring over the river and also wanted to fly. Mazu jumped up, but couldn't take off and fell back into the water. He then became sad and descended to the very bottom. Mazu's friends wanted to help him after all the good he's done. So they asked the river to make his dream come true. The river then turned silver and lifted him up, and the salmon started flying above the water. Ever since that time, once in his life, every salmon follows his dream upriver but only those who've earned true friendship by doing good deeds are fortunate enough to find the Silver River. You've already made Leo the most important and most valuable gift in the world, and Leo will soon realize that. You just need to practice patience and give your friend Leo some more time. Guys, you've heard the round one. They've gone and given the spotted one 
the most valuable gift in the world. We have to take that gift away. <laughs> <laughs> but how can we take it if we don't know what it is? We'll make sure the Spotted One gives it to us by choice. <laughs> we'll lure him into the most dangerous place we can find. And then you'll give him a scare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good I'll idea. save yeah. him, and then he will give me that valuable thing as a thank you. <laughs> and, and what is that dangerous place? It's uh, the Black Rock. Wow, the, the Black, Black Rock. Rock. What was the spotty dreaming of? <laughs> to see the Silver River. <laughs> so that's what he's going to see. <laughs> Leopards don't fly. But I did fly. Oh, hi, Leo. <laughs> uh, great weather today, isn't it? Uh, you know, in this weather, the Silver River looks especially cool. The Silver River? Martin, did you just say the Silver River? Have you seen it? Oh, sure. I could show it to you if you want. Wow! Of course I want to! Leo! Leo! Where could he go? Leo! Ah! Hey! Watch it, okay? Oh! I can see Leo! And the Martins! Where are they going? They are marching towards the Black Rock! What? Towards the Black Rock? Hmm. Something's not right. Come on! We have to follow them! <laughs> Go! Go over there! To the very edge! I can't see anything! Ha <laughs> ha 